Hi everyone, this is Maverick Pond, the chemistry guru. Now in this video, we want to go through an exercise comparing the acidity of organic compounds. Alright, so let's take a look at this question. I have 0.1 mole of each of the four compounds below were added separately to 1 dm cube of water. So chloroethanoic acid, ethanoic acid, ethanoal chloride, which is an acid chloride, ethyl ethanoid, which is an ester. So which of the following shows the correct order of increasing pH of the solutions formed? So increasing pH means that from low pH to high pH, which means that we want to rank them in order of decreasing acidity. The first one that we will consider will be the most acidic, which will give me the lowest pH. Then subsequently, the one on the extreme right hand side will be the least acidic. So therefore the pH it is the highest. So increasing pH also means that I want to rank them in decreasing acidity. Now if I look at these four compounds, chloroethanoic acid, ethanoic acid, both of them are carboxylic acids. Ethanoal chloride, this is an acid chlorine. In terms of functional group, ethyl ethanoate, this is an ester. So in this case, we will have three different functional groups to consider acid chlorine, carboxylic acids, and esters. Now, if you're familiar with the acidity of organic compounds, then this question is actually pretty straightforward. I know that carboxylic acids are acidic, obviously. Acid chloride by itself, it is neutral, but when we add this to water, then it will be very acidic because the resultant solution is something interesting that we will talk about. The nesters are actually neutral. So let us run through each of these functional groups part by part. Alright, let's consider acid chloride first because I know that carboxylic acids are acidic. Then later we need to compare chloroethanoic acid versus ethanoic acid. So let's look at acid chloride first. Now acid chloride by itself it is neutral because if you consider this function group for acid chloride, an acid it is supposed to be a proton donor or H plus donor. Looking at this acid chloride by itself, it is not capable of donating H plus because it doesn't have any proton to donate. The only hydrogen that is present is attached to carbon. So therefore, this CH3 is not capable of being a proton donor. So by itself, acid chloride it is neutral. But if you throw this inside water, then what it will do is it will react with water to give me carboxylic acid and HCl. Now remember, acid chloride it is a very reactive version of carboxylic acids. So therefore, it is reactive enough to react with water at room temperature to give me carboxylic acid and HCl. Now HCl because it is a strong acid, so therefore it will be fully dissociated to give me a very high concentration of H plus in solution. So therefore the pH of this solution is expected to be the lowest. Now next, how about esters? Now esters is considered as neutral. Again, because the idea of being an acid is you need to be able to donate H plus. So if I look at the function group involving ester, we don't have any OH bond present. All the hydrogen in ester or this ethyl ethanoid, you notice all these hydrogen are attached to carbon. So therefore, there's no capacity for ester to donate H+. So we treat this as neutral. So we know that since esters are neutral, it should have the highest pH. Now actually, just by looking at these two outcomes, we can determine the answer already because I know that acid chloride should be the most acidic. So therefore, the pH is the lowest. And esters, it is the least acidic. In fact, it is neutral. So therefore, the pH should be the highest. So when we look at all these four options, we only have one instance where acid chloride it is on the left-hand side and ester, it is on the right-hand side. So we know that option B must be the answer to this question. Now again, for the sake of discussion, let us try to compare the acidity for chloroethanoic acid and ethanoic acid. Why is it the case that your chloroethanoic acid it is more acidic than ethanoic acid. Remember the concept for acidity in organic chem, it is the stability of the conjugate base. If the conjugate base is more stable, the system will favor the dissociation of the weak acid to form the conjugate base, which is more stable. In turn, you release more H+, so therefore that weak acid is more acidic. So what we can do is we can draw the conjugate bases for both chloroethanoic acid, which will be here, and ethanoic acid, the conjugate base, will be here. Now to focus on the stability of the conjugate base, the focus is always on the negative charge on oxygen. Because if I can disperse or spread this negative charge over a bigger area, then the conjugate base will turn out to be more stable and in turn 
the acid will be more acidic. So the difference between these two guys will be, of course, the presence of my chlorine. Now this chloral group, it is considered an electron withdrawing group. Now electron withdrawing group will pull electron away from whatever species that it is attached to. So what this chlorine will do is will pull electrons away from carbon, which will in turn pull electrons away from this O minus. So what we can visualize is if I follow the direction of the movement of the electron, the electron is actually moving away from oxygen all the way to Cl. So it will help to disperse this negative charge on oxygen, or we can imagine that the negative charge on oxygen becomes less negative. So this is stabilizing. And of course, for ethanoic acid, the conjugate base, it doesn't have this stabilizing effect. So comparing these two conjugate bases, this conjugate base involving chloroethanoic acid, it will be more stable. So it will make this acid more acidic. All right, so reiterating this concept, the idea is here, if I have an electron withdrawing group, which is chlorine, it will help to disperse the negative charge on oxygen. So it will stabilize the conjugate base to a bigger extent. So therefore, chloroethanoic acid, it is more acidic. Of course, if I look back at this option, you have to be consistent. That's why in this case, for this exercise, the trend that we have in increasing pH or decreasing acidity will be ethanoic chloride, which is acid chloride, followed by chloroethanoic acid, ethanoic acid, and finally, neutral ester, which is ethyl ethanoid. All right, so that was the discussion involving comparing acidities of organic compounds. So if you have learned something useful from this video, please give me the thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly video lessons. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.